Hey guys, George from Soundtracks here, and today we're going to play a little bit more with the lighting. We're going to show you how you can take any lighting effect and make it directional so that when you're going in reverse or in forward, certain lights can be on and off. So let's get started. Now with our original Tsunami and our current mobile decoder line, we've used the legacy NMRA function mapping in CVs 33 through 46. Now the problem is, is when you're adding extra lights and you want them to be directional, the only way you can accomplish this using the original function mapping is to then map everything to function zero forward or function zero reverse. Or you can make the headlight or backup light both non-directional by assigning them to both CVs. But that became very limiting and so with the Tsunami 2 and our Econami, we changed up how you can do this. Now we've talked about function mapping in the past where the CV 1.257 through 1.262 will tell the decoder which buttons control the lights. So when the decoder receives an F0 command, it knows which lights to turn on. But in CVs 57 and 58, we can actually set the lights up to be directional. So let's start by taking a look at this factory installed Athern Jivo decoder. Now when we have our lights on, in this case our headlight and our ditch lights, when we start to move in the forward direction, you can see that our headlight and ditch lights are on. But when I stop and change directions, and we're going to move in the reverse direction, you notice that the headlight extinguishes, but the ditch lights remain on. Now, you may want to allow the ditch lights to be directional as well, so that when you're moving in reverse, the ditch lights are out. Now, to do this, CV57 and 58 are where you're going to look at. Now, CV57 is set up to enable the lights when the function is on in the forward direction. So by default, CV57 enables all of the lights except the backup light when you're moving in forward. Now CV58 does the same thing but in reverse. So when you look at it, each light is enabled in the reverse direction except the headlight. So when you change direction, your headlight goes out even though both the headlight and the backup light are set to function zero. Now in this case our ditch lights can go out the same way. So let's for argument's sake say that these lights are wired to the FX3 and the FX4 lighting effect. And we're going to disable all of the lights except the reverse light. So in this particular case we're going to go ahead and set CV58 to a value of 2. And that's going to disable all of the lights except the reverse light. So now we're going to move forward direction you're going to notice that my headlight and my ditch lights are on. But as soon as I change directions now, you're going to notice the headlight and the ditch lights both extinguished and my reverse light is actually on. Now you can set these lights up to be however you'd like. So if you have a strobe light, for example, on the top of the locomotive, or if you have other lights on that you want to be directional, then you can go through CV57 and 58 and enable them directionally. Now that we've showed you how to do that, now you can refer to our manuals page and see the Tsunami 2 and the Economy user's guides for more detailed information on how to set these lights to be directional. If you have any questions, we're a phone call away with our support department or email us at support at soundtracks.com.